All right, how's it going, everybody? Nathan, Nathan's MRE here. Today we have an extremely special ration. Not just special, extremely special. This is a Russian ration. This was issued to Russian soldiers to guard the 2018 Russian Military Olympics. Or Military Olympics, maybe, is what they call it. Um, I'm very grateful to get this. This is a discontinued ration. This has never been reviewed before. And this will be the first and last review ever of it. Uh, Vasily from Outdoor Tactical is lucky enough to send this to me. He got it from his good friend Ramil that does the rations out of Russia. So Ramil, I thank you very much for sending this over to me or sending it through Vasily to me. And we're going to open up and see what it's all about. Now I translated this on the top. It says basically intermediate ration number eight. It has a list of ingredients and it has two expiration dates on here, which is kind of odd. Uh, 4-12-2019 and 4-12-2020. Very, very interesting. Um, so yeah, let's just cut it open and see what's inside. Alright, so it has a terrible seal, terrible top with a resealable seal on top. Open that up. Hopefully nothing's broken in here. That's the only thing that sucks about shipping stuff. You never know what you're going to get. And so far, it looks good. No bad smells coming out of it. Here we have a little cup. That's interesting. With the Russian chocolate spread. Almost got her squished, but looks like it made it through. And I'll have to get the old translator out here and see what all this is. I hate this translator because it works, but man, it makes my phone really slow down. And you can see the lag on it. Jeez. This is the vegetable caviar. Here we have like an accessory pack. So we have some, well, we'll come back to that here in one second. Let's get the rest of the goods out. We have two packs of standard issue Russian crackers. We have a Sprint bar. Looks like it's a peanut, maybe peanut chocolate bar. We have a flameless ration heater. One or two. I think it's just one. Yeah, it's just one. We have our main. Our main made it through in great shape. This is the meatballs and rice. The beef meatballs and rice. This is USDA approved meatballs and rice. Halal friendly. Joking, of course. Um, that's all that's in the bag. Let's open this accessory pack up. This is obviously a single meal ration. I couldn't say that before because I really didn't know. Uh, when you do these rations, there's so little known about them that you just kind of got to open up and see what's happening inside. So here we have some pepper. I believe that was salt. We have some apple butter. We have a interesting spoon. It's got some grips on the top of it there. Seems pretty sturdy. We have sugar. We have a napkin, paper towel, TP, whatever you want to use it for. We have our standard wet wipes, and we have Old Faithful. We have the tea. Should be interesting. So the question is, what is this for? That's the question. I'm not really sure. Okay, so I thought, well, maybe put some tea in this, but after closer inspection, good thing I inspected it, it's actually got a crack in it. So no tea in your little cup. Very interesting, though. I'm going to go and open up this. And this looks very, very nice. I have, it's very rare to get the meatballs in a Russian ration. Whether it's civilian, military, or whatever have you. I've only got them, I believe, one time. And I think the second time I got them, the package is actually busted on it. And this is... Let's see if I can translate it. Boy, it's just not having the translator on that, is it? It says, business cook... Not having that at all. So, let me see here. 
And it won't translate on there. That word will not translate on here either. It's number one. But all the rest goes uh, biscuits, army, flour, caviar, apple jam, black tea, sugar, salt, pepper, uh, chocolate nut, chocolate bar, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate bar. Interesting. A napkin, napkin paper, spoon, plastic, white stone. I guess that's a sugar, disposable plastic. Interesting. I mean, obviously you can tell what it is by the picture on the front of it. I was about to put this main on the hot plate, but I just remember we have our flameless ration heater. So we're not going to open it. Let's go ahead and fix the edges before we even put it in the ration heater. So we're not trying to do it whenever it's hot. Let's go and get this bad boy out. If I could even peel that off of there. Without ripping it. Okay, there we go on that. Holy, look at the size of that thing. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and rip off the top here. We'll put our water in it. Let's see, that's why I just like cutting stuff. Everybody's like, oh, how weak are you? You can't even open a bag. But yeah, but if I rip it, it's not pretty for the camera. It's a big mess. But don't put that in there. Now the question is, how much water do you put in there? That's the question. Don't really know. We'll put maybe how much I think we should put in there. Is that what we're going with on this one? There's not a mark any anywhere to be seen at all. I am going to turn this sideways. Just give her a little, maybe about that much. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and take that off. Gonna put that on there like that. And we're gonna see if this baby's gonna work. As of right now, it's not doing anything. All right, it's starting to take off. I think it's just gonna blast real quick. You see it's swollen up. Look at that. Here, you see it boiling. Impressive. Real impressive, actually. Look at that. It seems like the same type ration here that's in the mountain rations, that's in the, the white bag winter rations. We're going to set that on there so it won't burn our table. Okie dokie. We'll turn that up just a hair for you. Let's go ahead and do the tea. Go to foreignmemory.com mug here. You guys hear me say it all the time. How much I like this Russian tea. Very nice. Got some boiling water here. That nice blast of that. And our main looks like it's done. We'll throw that on the tray so we don't burn. Woo! So we don't burn the tray. Now, there's a couple things to mention about this ration heater. There is no smell coming off the ration heater. And it's still going. Like 10 minutes later, it's still raging. And. <clears throat> It seems like it's a very nice change to some of these other ration heaters. Look at that thing. Just still chugging right along. Woo, buddy. That was a good ration heater, I have to say. That was a that was a good one. If I get in here without getting burned. Look at that thing. I know, right? Decent. 
put that over there. It's not going to scorch anything. And maybe we'll wipe this off. Hold on. Okay, wipe some of the water off of it. It's just nice and evenly hot. It's not like... Well, I mean, it's pretty hot, but... Let's see if we can peel it. If not, we'll have to cut it. I think we got her. So, it doesn't look like the pitcher... The pitcher... had, like meatballs and like tomato sauce or something on it just get rid of this all together get off of there all right and it does have meat in it well i guess it does have meatballs but it's only like a couple of them right and you can see here the cross section i just cut out of that and it's almost like tashanka or something it smells good Definitely tastes the bay leaf, salt and pepper. It's mildly seasoned. Let's try some of the rice. Hmm. That's a good dish. It's heated very well. It's not like burn your face off hot. It's just very even. The ration here did an awesome job. Man. It does have some oil in it, so it's not dry. You can see in the bottom of there. It does have a lot of fat with it, which is usually how the Russian stuff stays good so long without preservatives. The meat's very, very tender. And it is like a minced beef, right? Interesting. I'll take a sip of this tea real quick. It's like raging hot. Oh yeah. This Russian tea, I don't see any need for creamer or sugar or anything like that. It's a very mild tea. I'm gonna try this vegetable caviar real quick. I'm gonna get these crackers out. So vegetable caviar is a very acquired taste and they have many different versions of it. And this one, man, what they do here? They got the tab under the label. <laughs> Cutting towards myself. Everybody always tells me that in the comments. And this is a lot more yellow looking. You know, the last one I had was very orange and taste of carrot a lot. This one is slightly different. As I said before, they're always different. From 10 to 10, there's always a little bit different mix. Some are more squash, some are more carrot. It's like this one's probably more squash. Or zucchini, as you may say. It smells good, and the color is very nice on it. It's not weird looking. Hmm. A lot of people do, they take this. And they'll do that. It really does bring something else to it. It's almost like a, a red sauce at that point, along with the rice and stuff. And it's a nice way to get a little tin of actual vegetables with it. Uh, where before, you know, you wouldn't have that. And so it is nice for that. A sip of this tea. Got a little air in this guy here. See that or not. You gotta be a little careful with this stuff. I've only had one that was ever bad. So the best way to do it is open it up. Take a cracker out, squidge some on there, and smell it. It looks good though.
Yeah, make sure it doesn't smell sour. I've only had one that was actual sour, but this one, I can tell by the look of it too and by the smell, it's perfect. And this guy's more of the apple jelly than it is the more tart um, apple butter type flavor to it. There's a couple different kinds of it. Let me see here, I'll squidge them out. It's just not near as dark, it's not near as tart, it's just sweet only. Hmm. It's a very well balanced meal. You know, with your vegetables, your meat, your rice, and some apples that go along with it. Really can't complain. And this guy here, where's it at? I've never had a bad one of these, but these are known to be busted open in the rations. So you gotta be careful. They had this in that cup, which the cup is broken. It might have saved this stuff. You know, I just really don't know. And maybe we'll take uh, our other spoon here. We'll take a try of this. It's just like a chocolate spread. It's not even like Nutella. It's just like straight out chocolate spread. It's very mild. It's not bitter. It is very sweet though. Very, very sweet. It's almost as if they changed the, the recipe on that just slightly. And then we're gonna go ahead and try this Sprint bar. It says it's a chocolate bar, but it has peanuts on it. There we go. Maybe similar to a Snickers. I see a little bit of caramel poking out. Yep. It's pretty much exactly what it is. Pretty much as a Snickers bar. Very interesting. All right, guys. That's all for this incredibly rare ration. I'd like to thank Ramil and Vasily once again. I'll put a link below. If Ramil has a link, I'll put it in there. I'll put Vasily's channel in there, Outdoor Tactical. Go check his channel out, subscribe. You know, he is from Russia. He does have English subtitles on everything. And uh, very interesting channel. He does awesome work. That's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you very soon with another ration. Have a good day.